Bitcoin's price has plummeted in the previous week, falling by a third or more. But it's not just the world's largest cryptocurrency that is under attack. Ethereum is down over 24% in the last 24 hours, while Dogecoin, a meme-based currency, is down a similar percentage. The latest sell-off in digital currency markets coincides with China's move to tighten cryptocurrency regulations. According to Reuters' story, China has officially made it illegal for financial institutions and payment businesses to provide cryptocurrency-related services. This appears to have shook cryptocurrency markets, which had been wobbly in previous weeks. What could virtual currency investors and traders do to mitigate risk in the face of extraordinary volatility with crypto markets mainly in a free fall? As cryptocurrency prices tumble, here are five things you should do. Are you afraid of taking the risk? Or are you excited about the idea of saving money? In any case, there are five things you must do immediately. Number one, keep your cool. Whether you opt to sell your Bitcoin or use this tip to acquire more, you must keep your cool. Making emotional decisions, especially while trading, rarely yields positive results. So, before you jump into the market in a frenzy, think about why you're trading cryptocurrency in the first place. Are you investing because you see a long-term gain? Or are you here to make a quick cash by trading short-term? The answers to these questions can assist you in making the best decision possible. In either situation, you should act in accordance with your personal objectives. To put it another way, if you believe in the long-term potential, you should think like that. If you're looking for a speedy deal, keep that in mind. Number 2. Examine the circumstances. Is the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies influenced by news? It's likely that the market sentiment has been influenced by fundamental news rather than just price activity. Actual developments appear to have harmed prices in the most recent drop. China's recent effort to restrict financial institutions from offering crypto-related services is a step forward after the authorities banned crypto exchanges in 2017, but did not bar people from possessing cryptocurrencies. As a result, the latest movie appears to be a major setback for the expanding market which have been seeing large capital inflows. Number 3. This game is volatile. Remember, cryptocurrency is inherently volatile. Traders must rely on changes in emotion to influence the price because it generates no cash flow. As a result, the market can swing from intense confidence, as it did in early this year, to hopeless despair as it has in recent weeks. When dealing with a sentiment-driven asset, it's important to remember that traders' emotions drive the market. This is also true for stocks, but they may have a real source of expanding cash flows from their issuing firm to propel them higher. Professional traders who employ high-powered algorithms to make sophisticated transactions are drawn to this volatility which mom and pop traders don't usually have access to. Traders enjoy volatility because it allows them to profit. That is the game of Wall Street. Number 4. Consider the future. Is China's action a foreshadowing of things to come? Maybe. India has announced that it would introduce legislation to prohibit the use of cryptocurrency. Experts say the world's second largest country is now evaluating its position, with the one option being to regulate cryptocurrency. It remains to be seen whether other large countries follow suit, but it is apparent that cryptocurrency face serious regulatory challenges, including regulation that might put them out of business. As cryptocurrency becomes more popular, it runs the risk of becoming a victim of its own success. It doesn't help that cryptocurrency was recently utilized as a part of the ransom 
in the colonial pipeline attack in the United States, with the culprits reportedly receiving $90 million in cryptocurrency, according to CNBC. Number 5. Decide how you will react. You'll want to think about what to do after you've cooled off and analyzed the situation and what it means for the future. Is it possible that the dangers are actually opportunities in disguise? If you perceive it that way, you may want to keep your position or take advantage of a price drop to invest more. Are the dangers likely to persist? If not, worsen? If this is the case, you should cut your losses and exit the game for the time being. Is the scenario a little too hazy? If you're having trouble predicting the future, consider splitting the difference and selling some of your position today while still having upside potential tomorrow. Whatever path you choose, you'll need a strategy that represents your perspective on the dangers and opportunities associated with cryptocurrencies. However, some of the world's most intelligent investors will not touch cryptocurrencies and will strongly advise you against doing so as well. You might be shaken by the recent drop in crypto markets, but use it as a wake-up call to reconsider why you got involved in the first place. What are the potential benefits and risks? While Bitcoin, for example, has rebounded strongly after prior significant drops, there's no assurance it will do so again, especially if it's facing serious existential threats as countries outlaw its usage and possibly even ownership. And if the reality is less severe than the expectation, it is the kind of actual risk that can either kill or profit an investment. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support always. So if you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and please leave us a thumbs up and see you on the next one. Take care.